All right, high class, ready to learn about the neuronal control of blood pressure. Okay, so um, this is the first set of control, and we like we talked about from the very beginning of first day of class, we discussed that um, you have ways of controlling your body's system to maintain homeostasis. Um, so we have neuronal control for fast, quick response, and then we also have hormonal control to establish a stable, regular, maintain blood pressure for your body. Okay, so first this one, I'm going to explain the neuronal control of blood pressure. Okay, so um, let's take a look at this. Okay, so I have explained this using words, again, color coding the steps. Okay, and also I redrew it too, again, using just stick figure ideas and then um, looking at the steps as well. Okay, so let me just explain this on what's going on. So remember, um, blood pressure is really important to regulate. And then homeostasis can depend on what you're doing. So if you're running around, that's a different amount of blood pressure you need in your body versus, oh, I'm lying down and trying to go to sleep. That's another different homeostasis for that blood, uh, blood pressure. So when you're going from uh, standing to lying down, um, you're looking at a very rapid change in need and body um, system. So you have a different in body pressure. Okay, so this is all controlled by um, the neuronal control. So you're, if you ever felt like you're squatting down for a long time and you stand up, you feel a little lightheaded and a little black, um, that is because your body is trying to adjust that blood pressure and maybe it's not doing it quick enough to adjust to how quickly you sit up. And that's um, when you feel a little bit like, oh, that blood pressure is not enough for me for standing. Okay, so let's take a look at how your body adjusts this. Okay, so first off, um, blood pressure is through all your whole body system, right? So when your heart pumps up blood, you have vessels and there's fluid and volume of blood being pumped. Well, um, this needs to be measured. So just think of like sensors, like um, your room thermometer. That's kind of sensing, is it the right amount? So there's three spots that this is happening in the aortic arch and then in carotid sinuses, right on your neck region, okay? There's two um, barrel receptor. Barrel stands for pressure, so the receptor for sensing the blood pressure is called barrel receptor. Those will sense the blood pressure. So how do they sense the blood pressure? Well, that's gonna depend on, so if this is the, where the barrel, my thumb is where the barrel receptors are, and this is my blood vessel walk. If there's a lot of pressure pushing on my hand, my thumb is gonna feel a lot of push. Okay, so then it's gonna feel a lot of stretch. So that's high activity, high barrel receptor activity. Or like your thermometer in your house, when you sense this hot temperature, it's gonna depend, thermometer is gonna rise. Okay, so when there's high blood pressure, there, the barrel receptor is gonna feel high stretch activity, okay? So when they send, send that information, they're gonna to have to tell the body, oh, this blood pressure is way too high. So I'm gonna send that signal to the brainstem, which is on the back of your head, in the medulla oblongata. There's a, there's a center that's gonna sense that blood pressure and adjust uh, accordingly. Okay, so again, the baroreceptor sensing that pressure is step one, and that information is relayed then to the medulla oblongata of the brainstem region. And that's gonna then send a signal. And there's two signals that can send out. You can send out the parasympathetic, which is the rest activity through the vagus nerve. So that's rest or the active part of the system, which is sympathetic. Okay. So depending on what you need done, you can adjust how much rest, meaning slow down the heart, or how much higher increase in the heart rate and increase in um, the vasoconstriction. Okay. So that's all going to be regulated. So it's step one, two, and three. And I use the same system to do it just using a stick format, using one, two, and three. Okay, so let's go with example, okay, and then you can look at it. Okay, so if you have, if your blood pressure, you're going from standing, you're running around, running up and down the stairs, and it's finally time for you to lie down to go to bed. If the first time you lay down to lie down, that blood pressure rushing up your neck is gonna be way too high. So the carotid artery, and the uh, aortic arch, the barrel receptor in there is gonna feel the stretch, and then it's gonna have a high barrel activity. That's gonna send the information to your brainstem region and say, wait a minute, this blood pressure is way too high for lying down. So the barrel reflex, the body's reflex is then to, okay, let's adjust everything. 
So they're gonna stop the active part of your body. They'll so decrease the sympathetic. And then by decreasing the active part of your body, it's gonna decrease the heart rate, decrease cardiac output, decrease stroke volume. Okay, and that's gonna decrease blood pressure for lying down, okay? But at the same time, it's also gonna say, okay, let's turn on the vagus nerve. Let's turn on the parasympathetic. So that's gonna be increased rest. And then by increasing rest, it's also gonna decrease the vasoconstriction. So the blood vessels vasodilated and decreasing blood pressure to um, lying down. So both of them, I threw the arrows. Maybe I didn't explain that well enough, but then they both are gonna change the heart rate by decreasing it and then um, decreasing the a vasoconstriction, which will open up the blood vessel. Now like the blood pressure goes down for lying down for relaxation. Okay, so this should happen in milliseconds time, adjusting very quickly so that the reflex is, I'm standing, high blood pressure. I'm lying down, low blood pressure. Standing, high. So you can keep doing this up and down and you'll see that the blood pressure will change um, very quickly. Okay, so um, you want to draw this, which is uh, too high, blood pressure is too high from standing to lying down. But I also left you space now to draw when you're sitting down and you run up quickly. So you go from low blood pressure to high blood pressure. So what will change? What will the heart do? What will the vessel do to allow that to change? I also have some practice question that goes along with exactly what we just discussed. So in this slide, because it's the one right before the test and there's a number of concepts, I've been putting in a lot of questions for you to review. So um, you'll see the same questions on the practice quiz as well. So you wanna practice drawing, reading, understanding, step-by-step step, what's going on. And then draw the opposite, maybe side-by-side side even, and conclude what your body will do to adjust blood pressure um, to allow you to do this. And one of the questions looks at it as when you sometimes stand up too quickly, you feel lightheaded and dizzy. So that's because it's um, adjusting a little too slowly, but in the end, you will still adjust your blood pressure, right? You're still trying to adjust your blood pressure. So think of it as that it's going to go from low blood pressure to high blood pressure, okay? So practice this a lot and get really used to what is the sympathetic and what's the parasympathetic doing to uh, adjust the heart rate and the vessel to uh, uh, allow for blood pressure to be changed, okay? If you have any questions, send me an email, but the next slide we're going to be looking at um, hormonal control. So this is neuronal control of blood pressure. The next one is hormonal control.